So far, researchers and scientists have done a great job at unravelling some of the universe's biggest secrets. However, there have been some anomalies and signals that researchers haven't been able to explain. Space is one place that humans will never fully explore. It's anyone's guess as to what's out there, and with it being home to over hundreds of billions of planets, it's not crazy to say there could be all walks of life inhabiting various planets. One of the most interesting planets is that of Mars. With it being in our solar system and also being so close to us in terms of space, scientists have been able to carry out various tests, and even send advanced rovers and satellites to map the terrain. This has given scientists a much better understanding of its environment, and what else happens here on a day-to-day -day basis. However, various photographs that have been sent back over the years have only caused more confusion about what's really going on here, as various amateur researchers have suggested there could be life on Mars. Whilst NASA and other space agencies have made it clear about their stance of alien life on Mars, they have come forward and said that at this moment there is strong evidence to suggest there is water on Mars, and this is through the discoveries of hydrated salts and ice sheets. However, water in liquid form is yet to be discovered or confirmed. A lot of evidence and research points to the existence of water on Mars, such as the finding of the European Mars Express, this craft using an advanced radar system known as Marsis, found that Mars' south pole holds a subsurface anomaly that strongly suggests that an entire lake, thought to be around 12.4 miles or 20 kilometers across and at least one meter deep is underneath the pole. Very recent evidence has found there are certain places on Mars of which could potentially hold liquid water given the perfect conditions. The reason that ice water is plentiful on Mars, but currently there is no evidence of liquid water is because Mars's atmosphere is incredibly thin, so as soon as any ice would melt it would immediately turn to vapour. These specific environments are in the shadows of rocks, and could only host liquid water during the midwinter but nevertheless it seems a very real possibility. Amateur researchers though have said there's a lot more than just icy water on this planet, and that when you comb through photographs that have been sent back you'll be surprised to find some very interesting anomalies. Back in 2000 someone discovered something strange in a photograph sent back from Mars. The photograph in question has become known as the Tower and is used by people as proof that there are or once were beings living on the Red Planet. At the time when the image was public, many people downloaded it, and conducted various tests to try and find out more. What they discovered was that this object was massive. Not only that, but it was very consistent with buildings we have on Earth. This caused some to suggest that what we're looking at is some type of massive building. Those who carried out measuring techniques suggested it measured 3.9 miles or 6.3 kilometers. This only caused more confusion as how could such a skyscraper-like object form naturally. To further back up this claim, those who discovered it point to the massive shadow that can be seen being casted behind it, proving that whatever this was is big enough to cause a shadow. It's important to note as well that this photograph was taken by the Mars Orbiter Surveyor, this was launched on the 7th of November 1996. It had taken years to build this incredible piece of equipment, but it's noted by NASA as being the first successful mission to the Red Planet in over 20 years. The orbiter finally reached the Red Planet in March of 1999, where it would then go on to map the terrain from low altitude. Since this date it sent back thousands of images, interestingly many of which haven't been studied by researchers or scientists, and which some say do hide interesting anomalies that could help us understand the planet's environment better. This early surveyor was able to tell scientists a lot about Mars's surface, environment, atmosphere and interior. The camera that was on the Mars orbiter was able to send back some incredible images, that would help us understand how we would approach the planet in the future when it came to missions, this is interesting because at its closest points the Mars orbiter got around 68 miles or 110 kilometers above the surface, and even at this distance it was still able to pick up on this massive structure, causing some to think that it's taller than any man-made structure we have here on Earth. 
Interestingly, others have gone down a different route for what this object could be. Although amateur researchers don't discredit the size of this massive object, what they can't seem to agree on is what it actually is. Some have put forward the idea of what we're looking at is an unidentified flying object, and they say that it's easier to see when this object is flipped, going on to say that it looks exactly like the V-shaped UFOs that were reported on our planet. These researchers point to the fact that over the years various unidentified flying objects have been detected in the Martian sky. It's these sightings that spawned various theories about what's really happening on the Red Planet. Interestingly, the original image is really hard to track down. It was named MO300946. However, when you click the links to view it on the original Marlin Space Sign system, the image no longer appears and you get an error message. This website provides the camera systems and surfaces for space missions. It's issues like this that don't help agencies, as theorists believe that when these types of images are taken down from websites, it's because they're trying to hide something, and all this does is create more theories. There's also groups of people that suggest that millions of years ago Mars was actually inhabited by an advanced civilization, but something happened to the planets that caused them to move on, and what we're seeing in this photograph is a piece of old technology that got left behind. Over the years, people have said the red planet is littered with strange anomalies. These range from animals, trees, unidentified flying objects, and even everyday items like clothes. However, not everyone has gotten on board with this idea, NASA being the main ones who have spoken out on a few occasions about these claims. Perhaps one of the most well-knowns is that of the Mars Rand. It was first picked up on by UFO researchers a few years back and they suggested the animal was placed on the Martian surface in order to see the effects the planet has on a live animal. However, Joy Crisp, who was the Curiosity Deputy Project Scientist of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory at the time, said the following. Clearly, it results from a lot of things like wind erosion, and mechanical abrasions and breakdown chemical weathering of the rocks. This is why they get these weird shapes. One individual who studies Mars anomalies said the following. Over the years, NASA has been seen removing photographs of anomalies on Mars, or even moving them to a different location so that it's harder to find them. I really don't understand why they do this. After all, if the photographs are genuine and do show something mysterious, why not just come clean and tell people? Surely at some point the news will come out and people will eventually find out the truth. Why prolong that process? It reminds me of the UFO phenomena when people were and still are ridiculed for believing in them. Yet the Navy just confirmed that the crafts that had been captured were genuine. So after all those years of alienating people that believed in the phenomena, they now come forward and admit that these crafts are of particular interest, and they match the description of UFOs that have been seen for decades. It does seem like a kick in the teeth. As of today, NASA and other officials explain these discoveries as being just camera anomalies or pareidolia. This is where humans see objects and faces and everyday things. They suggest that the majority of the photographs that are presented are of low quality, and that it's hard to determine what the object is. But even with this explanation, they say that all these discoveries don't show anything mysterious, and can always be explained and usually turn out to be geological structures found on the Red Planet. They haven't given an explanation for this structure as the photograph can no longer be found, but as mentioned NASA have said they're yet to find anything on the Martian planets that they can't explain. So what do you make of the alleged Mars Tower? Do you think it shows a giant structure, or is it just a camera trick that makes it look like there's a giant tower? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.